dice. Sí, dale a restablecer contraseña y ponerle del 1 al 6 para que no se te olvide. ¿Qué vez te olvida? Mira, sin nombre o solo números. Solo los números del 1 al 6. Dice el teacher que tuvo problemas nuevamente en el chat. La ley del cuarto, entonces. <risa> este Rafa ah, tiene sí, la culpa, comenzó a hablar y, 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 Vamos, y hasta la clase se corta. A las diez y media. A las diez y media. Hello, everyone. Si Rafa dice, nos vamos. ¿Para dónde? <risa> En el, en el chat decía que tenía problemas. Yes, I was having problems. Tenía problemas, pero ahorita ya, ya solventé. I solved. Ok. Uh, can you listen to me? Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Can you yes. hear me? Yes. 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 Ya no vamos a hacer sesiones de grupo ahorita, lo siento. Eh, ayer lo hicimos bien, pero ahora otra vez el mismo problema, ok. De que me saca y que no, vuelvo, no puedo entrar nuevamente. Y perdí como dos minutos ahorita, así que ya no, porque no es viernes y no quiero que se vayan tarde. No want you to be late, ¿ok? No quiero que pase lo mismo de la semana anterior. So, so by now, no more uh, group sessions, ¿ok? No más sesiones de grupo o salas de grupo, ¿ok? Uh, so we will do it here on the main session. So all the class will be on the main session. Toda la clase será en la sesión principal, ¿ok? Uh, all right. So, uh, well, I guess everybody practice and you listen to your classmates, right? Uh, saying the... What they would do in case a customer asks for a refund, okay? So for this activity, you are not going to share with the class. Para esta actividad no, no van a compartir con la, con la clase, okay? Because you already shared with your classmates, all right? Porque ya compartieron con sus compañeros. Because you already shared with your classmates. Uh, so next we have two questions, okay? Uh, these two questions are about your company, okay? These two questions are about your your company okay let's see the questions uh question number one is why do customers call i mean to your company right where you work donde ustedes trabajan where you work okay why do customers call and then you you write the reasons why customers call to your company okay uh, because they need a product for it's called is product here there is a problem okay because they need a product uh because they had a problem with a product because they want to complain, porque quieren quejarse, because they want to complain, uh, because um, they are not happy with a purchase, porque no están felices con una compra, uh, because they have a problem with a product, I don't know, anything you want, okay? So you need to write the reasons why customers call to your company. Vamos a escribir las razones por las cuales llaman los clientes a su compañía. Question number two, how can you help them? Write a list of ideas, all right? ¿Cómo pueden ayudarles? Write a list of ideas. For example, by giving them information, uh, by asking them to bring the product, for example, eh, pedirles que lleven el producto, I don't know, okay? So please take a moment and answer the two questions. Maybe in question number one, you can write three reasons and in question number two, you can write three reasons too, okay? Three ideas, three and three. Three ideas for question number one and three ideas for question number two, okay? It's about your company, okay? It's about where you work. It's about where you work currently. Teacher and question, what do your customer call? Because they need a producto. 
es, is product. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Ah, eso, ah. Es lo que le, eso es lo que le estaba diciendo, que ahí okay. me había equivocado. Okay, okay, let me make the correction. Voy a hacer la corrección okay. ahorita. Let me make the correction. Thank you. I have the I have this uh, part of the answers because I wanted to give you an example, okay? So you can see this as an example. Yeah, what is in yellow is the example for you to follow. All right.
Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Un minuto más, one more minute. Okay, uh, so question number one is, uh, why do customers call, right? Why do customers call? And question number two, how can you help them? How can you help them? Try a list of ideas, okay? And then you, you, you explain the ideas, all right. So uh, let me see. I will write here on this, uh, on this paper, on this paper, I will write, let me see. You are, let me see, one, two, three, four, uh, nine. Yeah, I will write five numbers, okay, on this paper. Uh, five numbers, okay? I will write another one. Okay, so here on this paper, I have five different numbers, okay, from one to 15, from one to 15, the lunar 15. I have numbers from one to 15. Now listen, tell me a number, I will go in order. If you guess the number, you will have the possibility or you will have, you will have the opportunity to participate, okay? Si adivinan el número, van a participar. If you guess the number, you will participate. But please, everybody needs to pay attention because you can repeat the number, okay? Todos deben poner atención porque no pueden repetir el número que dijo su compañero, ¿de acuerdo? All right? Okay. Five numbers I have on this paper. I will show you later to prove it, okay? Se lo mostraré luego para, para probarlo. Okay, let's see, Javier. So tell me a number from one to 15. The lunar 15, from one to 15. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Yes, you are the first person to participate, Ulysses. I have number nine on my paper. Uh, Carlos, tell me another number, please. Number two. No, number two is not on my list. Uh, thank you, Hector. Tell me a number, please. Number five, Peter. Number five is not on my list. Uh, let's see, Rafael. Tell me a number from one to 15. Teacher. Yes. Este, <laughs> eh, I, uh, I offer the, do you remember my, 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 my tarea the the yes. my phone yeah but <laughs> it's a little for in inside the the tareas this is a moment but not easy for the class i'm sorry okay okay no problem it's okay pero ya puedo ingresar yes it, uh, um, tonight at night for the 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 tareas and okay all right it's okay, but, but, okay. Okay, it's okay, no problem. Okay, Johnny, so tell me a number from one to 15, please. Uh, number 11. Number 11, I don't have number 11 on my list. 
Uh, Carla? Carla Maria? Yes. Number from 1 to 15? Uh, three. Three. I have number three on my list. Okay, so you are number two to participate, Carla Maria, okay? You will participate. Uh, let's continue with Santos. So tell me a number from one to 15, Santos. Santos? Num number four. Number four, yes, number four is on my list. So Santos, you are person number three to participate, okay? Uh, now let's see, um, Cristina, tell me a number, please. Six. Cristina? Six. Six. Six is not on my list. Okay, thank you, Cristina. Uh, Ellen Nielsen? Fourteen. Fourteen is not on my list either. Uh, Daniel? One. One is not on my list either. Maho? No, no, uh, available, we have number, let me see, number seven, we have number eight, number four, number 13, number 12, number four, number 15, sorry? 12. 12. 12. Yes, you will participate, Maho, okay? I have number 12 on my list, okay? Uh, now let's see Wendy. Oh, she's not there, I think. Completó las preguntas. Well, um, Did you answer the questions? Two. two. And number two. No. Some, no, they no. Said number two. Ah, okay. You're just a, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, Carlos, another number? 11. 11. Okay. 11 is not, a, it's not here on my list. Uh, Hector, another number? Number seven, teacher. Number seven, not on my list. Uh, let's see, Johnny. Uh, number 13. Number 13. 13, 13 yes. not on my list, not on my list. Uh, let's see, uh, Santos Ezequiel. Oh, Santos, uh, sorry, Cristina. Otro número, solo el nueve está allá. Only number nine is available. El, el nueve ya lo habían dicho, creo que fue el primero. Um, oh, yeah, it's true. Let me see, entonces ya no hay números. Let me see. Oh, number one, two, three. Yeah, so no more numbers available, sorry, okay? So uh, then we will listen to Javier, Carla. Oh, let me see, let me see. Alguien dijo 15. Nobody said 15? No, right? Nobody, so Cristina, 15 is available. Okay, 15. 15, you will participate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for you. All right, let's see. Okay, we start with Javier. Javier, question number one. Uh, why do custom, I mean, why do customers call to your company? Uh, because they need to know if there is delivery mail. All right. Uh, because they need help with their uh, daman, damage vehicle. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Damage? Damage. Ah, okay. Damage vehicle. All right. Yeah. Only two. Uh, so, so last two. All yeah, right. How two. can you help them? Uh, only one. Uh, by giving the information they request. Okay, by giving information, they request. Excellent, thank you very much, Javier. Javier, can you ask the questions uh, or can you ask Carla the questions, please, Carla Marie? Javier? Okay. Sí. Okay, let me show you. Okay. Let me show you here. Here are the questions. Okay, Carla Maria me dijo. No. Yes, that's right. Uh, okay, Carla Maria, why do customer calls? And because your 
you need a solution and because the service is bad, because the service does not meet expectation. Expectations? Expectation, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay, no problem. Expectation, <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh, how can you help them? I need to request your identification number and the customer is always right. <laughs> and my duty is to provide a solution to the client. Okay, okay that's excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, in this case, you don't say your, Carla, you say there. Because there. it's okay. ellos, there. Okay. okay. Can okay. you repeat the example using there, please, not your? And my dirty? No. Uh, there is one example in which you said you were. Ah, I need request their identification number. Exactly. You say their identification number. Okay. okay. I need to request their identification number. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. No problem. It's okay. Thank you very much, Carla and Javier. So, Carla, uh, you ask Santos the questions. Okay. Santos? It here. Hello. Hello. Okay. okay, Santos. Why do you customer call? Okay. Because they need information of the of the product. Okay. Because they need to to know the price. The price. price. The price. Yeah. Price. Okay. Because the the they sorry because they are our customer uh, need information sorry information the product of the product okay only okay and how can you help them? By facility the information and by solution of the problem. Only two. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, thank you, Carla. And thank you, Santos. Uh, after by, you use a verb, okay? Después de by, usamos un verb. So you ah, say maybe okay. by solving the problem, by solving in this case, by solution or by solving, because the verb is solved, okay? By solving the problem. ¿Y cuál era el otro ejemplo? What was the other example? By, by, by facility, facility the information. Okay, you say by facilitating, facilitating with ing, con ing, by facilitating oh. the information. Okay? Uh, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, Santos and Carla Maria. Now, Santos, uh, you ask Majo the questions, please. Okay. Majo. Hello, Maho. Yes, I hear. Okay. Okay. Why do customer call? Um, because they need to know the, that the day you will receive your products and because they need if they were send their recure total. And maybe because they see the process you follow. Okay. How can you help them? By giving them the exact information and by giving them security the product. Uh, only that. Okay. Thank okay, you. thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Santos and Majo. Majo the same. Uh, you don't say your, you say their, porque estamos hablando de su de ellos. So you say their, okay? There. Yeah. Okay. Can you repeat one of your examples uh, using their? And lo que uso your. Uh, because they need to know the date. Ah, okay. But in this case, because they, then you say because they need to know the date. They, in this case, mm -hmm. ellos necesitan saber la fecha. They need to know the date. 
Uh, se llama, un ejemplo en el cual uso your. Eh, en esa misma, the date, eh, uh -huh. la fecha. Uh -huh. You will, you will receive eh, your product. Okay. Your their product. product uh, their. their product, exactly. Their product, not your product. Okay. Okay, ma. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay I think. Okay. Uh -huh. O oh, le digo la otra también, o como no, okay. no me entendí ahí. Ok, sí, diga. Yeah. Mm, en la otra era, because they need if the if they were sent the recure total. Solamente esas dos le digo. Yeah, it's okay, but at the beginning, al principio, si usamos al principio sería they. Ok, they, because they need to, and then we continue, ok? Y si mm -hmm. lo usamos al final antes de un producto o de algo, we say there. For example, because they need to share, because they need to share their information, for example. Porque necesitan compartir su información, their information, ok? Yes, okay. ahora sí, ok. Very good. Uh, thank you, Majo and Santos, right? Uh, now, Majo, you ask Cristina, please. Ask Cristina the questions. Majo. Okay. Hello, Cristina. Hello. Good evening, Cristina. Good evening. Uh, what do your customer call? Um, because they need to... You log their user. Because they need to report issues in the system. Okay. Only that. Now, to a question. Uh, how can you help them? Um, Train in the use correct online system of the bank. Um, help you result. Um, there, there, share their results. There, there. their results. A compartir sus resultados, su de ellos. Okay, so you say there. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, help, la segunda es help with do, dudas es dubs. Doubts. 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 Help, help with doubts uh, in the use the online service. Doubts. Okay, thank you very much, Majo and Christina, and thank you everybody for your uh, well, for the ones who participated, thank you very much. I would like to listen to everybody, okay? I would like to listen to everybody. Unfortunately, we don't have the time because we need to do different activities, right? But I know everybody has the answers, okay? So thank you very much for answering the questions, okay? And for the people who participated, thank you very much for your participation, okay? So please, everybody, go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction. Vamos a reacciones y damos una reacción a los compañeros que participaron. Give a reaction to your classmates who participated. Okay, thank you. This is like saying congratulations, right? Es como decir felicidades. It's like saying congratulations, okay? Very good. Uh, let's go to the next activity. So in the next activity, let me, let me move here. Okay, uh, so in the, the next activity is in unit number three. By the way, what is the name of unit number three? No les pregunté, I didn't ask. What is the name of unit number three? What is the name of unit number three? And customer service. Customer service, exactly. So it's customer service. That is the name of unit number three. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to the next activity, okay? So next we have activity number two. 
And in activity number uh, two, let me show you here. In activity number two, uh, we have some words, right? We have some words. So please listen to the pronunciation carefully. Listen to the pronunciation. Let's start with the first. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Okay, yeah, pick up the phone. Right now only listen and we repeat in a moment, okay? Understand, understand, explain, explain, complain, complain, help, help, request information, request information, get prices, get prices, provide one's information, provide one's information, assist, Assist, buy, buy, call, call, receive, receive. Okay, so that's the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Now, please, everybody, turn off the microphone and let's repeat. Apague el micrófono y repetimos. Con micrófono apagado, with microphone off, okay? Quiero verlos a todos con la cámara encendida y moviendo la boquita, viendo que están pronunciando to see that you are pronouncing, okay? Voy a estar aquí verificando en las, en las cámaras. I will be checking, okay? So let's start pronouncing. Vamos a pronunciar dos veces cada una, okay? Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Understand. Understand. Explain. Explain. Complain, <clears throat> sorry, complain, complain, help, help, request information, request information, get prices, get prices. Provide one's information. Provide one's information. Assist. Assist. Buy. Buy. Call. Call. Receive. Receive. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, now, please, you can, using your dictionaries, if you want, we will classify the vocabulary, okay? We will classify the vocabulary, okay? So, for example, uh, what vocabulary uh, do customers, uh, or what do customers do? ¿Qué hacen los clientes? What do customers do? What do companies' representatives do? All right, ¿qué hacen los representantes de las compañías? For example, pick up the phone, customer or company's representative? Customer. Customer Cost representative. So here you put pick up the phone, all right? Yeah. Understand, customer or company's representative? Customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understand. Customer or company's representative? Company's Customer? representative. I think company's representative, right? Because, I mean, they have to understand the problem and the client, okay? El cliente siempre tiene la razón, okay? The client is always right. So understand the client. Good. Continue with the others. Continue clasificando los demás. Continue uh, classifying the rest. Pueden usar siempre el diccionario de word reference. You can use word reference dictionary, okay? To check the new vocabulary. So please take a moment and classify the vocabulary. Mientras tanto les iré pasando asistencia, okay? So please say present. Or I'm here. Carlos? I'm here. Claudia? Cristina? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? 
Raquel, Rachel. Ellen Eason. Present teacher. Elsie. Present teacher. Hazel. Present. Very good. Hector. I'm here, teacher. Irma. Javier. Present teacher. Johnny. Present. Mauricio. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Maho. Rafa. Present teacher. Santos. I'm here, teacher. Ulises. Present for All the right. country. <laughs> Excellent. Wendy. I am here. Carla Maria. Present. And Carla Raquel. Bueno, no se nos conectó Carla Raquel. All right. Continue, please. Continue. Continue, please. Para la sesión 1 a 1, antes de que se me olvide, hoy tenemos a Javier, si no me equivoco, ¿ok? We have Javier today. Para el lunes de la otra semana, Johnny. Martes, Mauricio. Miércoles, Lucy. Jueves, Majo. Y viernes, Rafael. Para la otra semana, for next week, ¿ok? Are you ready? Let me know, please, by raising your hand. Me lo hacen saber a través de levantar su mano, por favor. Let me know by raising your hands, please. If you finish, right? So nobody has finished. Nadie ha terminado. Nobody has finished, right?
Okay, thank you, Christina and Johnny. I see your hands that you have finished. Thank you very much. Oh, I have more. Ellen Nielsen, the actor too. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll give you uh, two more minutes for this and then we check, all right? Two more minutes and then we check. Dos minutos más y luego revisamos. Two more minutes and then we check. Okay, uh, let's check uh, quickly. Let's check what you have, all right? Uh, let's see, maybe uh, th there will be the, <clears throat> sorry, there will be the possibility that maybe one uh, can be in the two parts, right? For the customer and, and for the customer and for the company's representative, okay? So we have some which can be in both parts, okay? So let's see number one, okay? Pick up the phone. So number one, pick up the phone. Company's representative. Company's representative. That's very good. <clears throat> Number two, understand. Company's representative. Company's representative. Okay, so number one and number two here, right? Okay, number one and number two. Okay, let's continue. Uh, explain. Number three. Customer. The customer. Customer. Customer can explain the problem, right? Or what happened to him or her. Very good. Uh, number four, complain. Customer. Customer. Complain, customer. What is complain in Spanish? Queja. Quejarse, okay? Complain is quejarse, okay? So the customer can complain. Very good. Uh, five, help. Customer. The Help. The customer helps, or the company's representative helps the customer. For me, mm -hmm. it's the customer. Is com for me, it's company. Oh, okay. Company. Interesting. Okay, Carla, uh, can you explain why? For the client, I need help. 
Mm -hmm. The client says, I need help. Help. All right, let's see. Yeah, but, but, but remember that the instruction is, let me, let me, the instruction is what do customers do and what do companies representatives do? All right, that is the question, right? So I would say it's uh, for the uh, company's representative, okay? Porque acerca de lo que hace cada uno. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see number six, request information. Customer. 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 The customer, the customer can request information. And the, cost, and the company's representative, maybe some information, right? Not all the information, okay? Uh, seven, get prices. Obtener precios, get prices. The customer, the customer, it's correct. It's the customer. Uh, provide one's information. Provar, eh, proveer la información de uno provides one information. Company. Company. Representative. The company is representative. Okay, so number eight is here then. Okay. Number nine, assist. Company. Company, company is representative. That's right. So it's number nine is here too. Uh, buy. Customer. The customer can buy is correct. So it's number 10, right? It's number 10. Call. Customer. The customer, customer. the customer calls is correct. The customer calls the company. Receive. Customer. The customer. The customer receives the product or receives information, right? Okay, that's excellent. That's very good. Uh, all right. So do you have any doubts about the meaning? Alguna duda acerca del significado de las palabras? Any doubts? No? No doubts about the meaning? Everything clear? Okay, very good. If there are no doubts, here we have two questions, okay? Now that you talk about uh, the, the, what the customer uh, can do and what the, cost, the, what the company's representative can do, we have two questions, okay? What do customers call for? Now that you have it clear, ahorita que lo tienen más claro. What do customers call for? Para qué llaman los clientes? According to the information above, de acuerdo a la información de arriba. Get prices. Sorry? For great, get prices. Or to get prices. To, yeah, to get information, to receive information. What else? Maybe request to request information. Sorry, what else? For buy, for buy something. For buying, for buying. That's right. To buy products. To complain. <laughs> that is very common to complain. And what about the company's representative? We had them right above. All right, we we check those ones. Okay, so let's see. Um. Number two, what was the last call you had about? Now let's focus on this instruction, okay? The instruction here says, okay, let me maximize it. Solo le voy a dar un poquito de zoom. Just let me zoom it in a little bit. Okay, hold on a second. So the instruction says, la instrucción dice, the instruction says, choose the department, select the department where you work. Okay, select the department where you work in and a friend, okay? Where you and a friend work. Explain to a partner what activities you do there, okay? So for example, in your company, what do companies, uh, sorry, what do customers call for, okay? So maybe from the reasons above, de las razones de arriba, Okay, write three reasons, but about your company, acerca de su compañía, about your company, write at least three reasons, okay? Question number two, what was the last call you had about? De qué trató la última, de la última llamada que tuvo? Con un cliente, right? Of course, with a client. So give a short explanation, da una corta explicación, yeah? What was the last call you had about? De qué fue la última plática que tuvo con su cliente, con un cliente, okay? So take a moment and answer the questions, please. For question number one, you write three reasons only, okay? De las que están arriba, from the ones above. Request information, for example, to request information. 
What else? ¿Qué más podría ser? What else can be? Uh, to complain. Buy. Okay, continue, please. In question number two, don't give too much information. Be brief. Sean breves en la número dos. Be brief in number two, okay? Don't give a long explanation. No, be brief. Sean breves. Be brief, please. Let me give you one example for question number two. What was the last call you had about? ¿De qué trató la última llamada que tuviste con un cliente? Ok, you can say, um, he was about, to answer, right? Podemos empezar con, he was about, se trató de, he was about, for example. And, and I was asking for a credit information. Ah, he was about, uh -huh. he was, was about, about. A, a credit information. Uh -huh. Ok. He was about a credit information, for example, ok. Or maybe you can say it was about a customer uh, complaining. It was about a customer uh, requesting information. It was about a customer buying a product. Okay, and then you can you can continue. Okay, it was about a customer, or you can say a client. It was about a client buying a product, for example. Buying. Pueden mencionar el producto que ustedes venden, okay? Or it was about a customer um, renting a car. Or it was about a client asking for a refund. It was about a client reclaiming about a product. Reclaiming about a product. Reclamando por un producto, reclaiming about product. That's for question number two, okay? For question number one, you need to write three reasons from the reasons above. Tres razones de las que están arriba. Three reasons from the ones above. All right?
Are you ready? Are you ready? Not yet. Not yet. Yes. All right. Somebody suggests. Okay, take one more minute. Tome un minuto más. Take one more minute. Uh, okay, just remember in question number two, be brief. Okay, be brief. Sean breves. Be brief, please. In question number one, only write three reasons, okay? To request information, to complain, to buy a product, okay? You can start with two, all right, two. To buy, to complain, to speak. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are going to listen uh, to the people who didn't participate in the previous activities, all right? So in the previous activities, I think, who didn't participate? Quienes no participado? Who didn't participate? I think Johnny, right? Johnny didn't participate in the previous activity. Uh, so Johnny, you start. Uh, yes. Johnny, uh, number one is, uh, what do customers call for in your company? Um, they call for request information about the credit card. Okay. Only one? Only one, yeah. All right. Ah. Num number two. What was the last call you had about? It was about the agent didn't know where the credit card was. All right. Very good. So the agent had lost the credit card. Okay. Thank yes. you very much, Johnny. Very good. Okay. Uh, now let's listen to, let me see, uh, Hector or Carlos. No sé quién fue que participó de los dos en la actividad anterior. O ninguno de los dos, nobody. None. Nobody. Nobody, right? Nobody. So let's, let's listen to Hector and then we listen to Carlos, okay? Hector, uh, what do customers call in your company? For, in your company, sorry. To request information. All right. To buy a new product. Yeah. To get price. To get a price. Very good. What was the last call you had about? It was about to explain the information of the product and provide information about our company. All right. That's excellent. Thank you, Hector. That's very good. Uh, now let's listen to Carlos. Carlos, uh, what do customers call for in your company? Uh, for example, for request information uh, about uh, how do you say porcelana oh my goodness <laughs> I, I i never used that word i knew it but i since i never <laughs> use it okay. i don't remember it let me check okay just to remember uh, for, uh, for request price of products oh, okay okay <laughs> E for complaint of bad service. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's I, think see. It's, I think it's porcelain. Yeah, I was checking and it's porcelain. It's right. You're, okay. you're correct. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is vocabulary okay. I never use. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not okay. on my daily vocabulary. Okay, uh, let's Probably. see. Uh, question number two. Uh, what was the last, uh, the last call you had about? It was, it was about warranty of products. Okay, that's very good. It was about, about a warranty of a product. Excellent. Thank you very much, Carlos. Mm -hmm. uh, let's mm -hmm. see who else we didn't listen in the previous activity. Wendy. Okay, Wendy. We didn't listen to Wendy. 
Uh, Wendy, what do customers call for in your company? The microphone, Wendy, turn it on, enciéndalo, turn it on, please. Uh, telephone e print. Can you repeat, please? Telephone e print. What do you want to say? ¿Qué quiere decir? What do you want to say? Uh, telephone, o sea, como la pregunta dice, ¿qué es lo que los clientes este, piden? No, ¿para qué? ¿Para qué, ¿Para, ya, qué? ¿Para qué llaman los clientes? What do customers call for? Ah, ok. Was... Ajá, sí, les decía que podían usar las la de arriba, ¿verdad? Reciclar. To request information, to buy products. Ok. Ok, it's ok, it's ok, bueno. Uh, let's listen then to Ellen Nilsson. <laughs> What do customers call for in your company? In my, in my company, first of all, they call for to get uh, to get information. To get first information. Okay. Yeah. Only that. Yeah. Okay. What was the last call you had about? It was about uh, a customer once complaining. Oh, it was about a customer complaining. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you, Ellen Nielsen. And thank you, everybody, for your participations. Los que no han participado se me quedan para la, para la otra ahorita, okay? So please, everybody, go to reactions and give a reaction to your classmates. Vamos a reacciones y damos una reacción a los que participaron. Give a reaction to your classmates, please. Thank you very much for your participation. Good. So in this moment, It's, uh, we have something very, very important, okay? So let me show you. Maybe you have studied this before. Tal vez lo han estudiado esto antes. Maybe you have studied this before. Uh, so here we have basically, okay, hold on a second. <coughs> so basically, uh, here we have the simple task, okay? We have the pass of the bird to be, and we have the simple past, hablar en pasado, to talk in past, all right? El verbo to be, the verb to be, has two forms in past. Tiene dos formas en pasado. It has was and, and where, all right? Was and where in past. Was or where en pasado. Depende del pronombre que estemos usando, okay? Yeah? Para cuáles pronombres voy a usar el was? For I, for example. I was, like I was Uh, in class yesterday. I was in class yesterday. Yo estuve en clases ayer. I was. Um, he, for example, he was or Carlos was. Lucy was or she was, right? It was or the dog was. Okay, para singulares usamos el was, entonces. And for plural, we use where. For plural, for plural sorry, we use where. We were in class yesterday. Nosotros estuvimos en clase ayer. We were. El where se usa excepto para, una, para un pronombre en singular, que es el you. All right? De ahí solo para plurales. For example, I say, oh, you were, you were in class yesterday. Tú estuviste en clase ayer. Es singular, pero uso el where. Es para el único que se usa el where. De ahí se usa solo para plurales. Only for plural subjects. Okay? Repeating, repitiendo. El was se usa para singulares. I was, he was, she was, it was. El where se usa para plurales. We were, they were, you were. Ustedes estaban, you were. Solo se usa para un singular que es you, cuando, cuando queremos decir tú. You. You were in class yesterday. Tú estuviste en clase ayer. Ok. Uh, and then we have the examples, right? Uh, let's see, um, let me see here. Daniel, can you read example, the four examples here, please? The four examples. The four examples, los cuatro ejemplos, the four examples. It was a great experience. Continue. Yeah, the agent was very helpful. Yeah. You were on our page. 
we were excited about serving. Excellent. So we have was, was because it's singular. The agent is singular. It is singular. Okay. Then we have where because we have you. And we have where because we have we plural, right? We were excited about the ser about service, the service sería, okay? Now, esto es acerca del verbo to be, was and where, okay? Alguna pregunta, any question about that part? Alguna pregunta de esa parte? About the past of the verb to be, was and where? Was quiere decir era o estaba y where éramos o estábamos, okay? Is the verb to be in past? We were happy. Nosotros estábamos felices. We were happy, for example, okay? So any question or no questions? Teacher, no question. vamos a hacer eh, oraciones así como las que están ahí. Perdón, sorry. Vamos a hacer oraciones así como los ejemplos que están ahí. Allá en, simple... <laughs> en la plataforma. No, no, no. Ahorita. El correcto. Ah, no, solo vamos a organizar unas oraciones. Ya le voy a explicar más adelantito, ¿ok? Okay. okay. Good. Now we have the simple past. Aquí tenemos el simple past, but not the verb to be, right? Now we have the simple past with other verbs, con otros verbos. For example, we have the verb gave, called, worked, and bought. These verbs are in past, okay? Esos verbos están en pasado. For example, for gave, the present is give. For called, the present is call. For worked, the present is work. For bought, the present is buy. So these verbs are in past. Estos verbos ya están en pasado. So I gave my accounts information. Yo di la información de mi cuenta. It's in past, right? He called yesterday at night. El llamó ayer en la noche. It's past. The program worked well. El programa funcionó bien. Past. They bought that product last week. Ellos compraron ese producto la semana pasada. Past, right? Good. Now let me show you uh, something here. We have some verbs, some common verbs, okay? For example, for example, for example, uh, we have, uh, let me write it here. Uh, we have the verb. Let me see, I, I think I have some verbs. Buy, all right? For example, I have the verb buy, uh, read, give. I have the verb call, and I have the verb work, okay? Para los verbos regulares es fácil. Para los verbos regulares es fácil porque solo Aplico algunas reglas y les pongo ed. For example, here I say call in past. Worked in past. Okay, pero esto de aquí cambian. This, they change, okay? By, you say, in past, you say but. Son verbos irregulares. Read, you say read, the pronunciation, okay? Se, se escribe lo mismo, pero se pronuncia read in past. Read, like the color, okay? Give, in past is gave. So you can say, for example, I bought a car last year. Yo compré un carro la semana, el año pasado. I bought. I read a book last week. Yo leí un libro la semana pasada. I read a book last week. I gave money to my mother. Yo di dinero a mi mamá. I called my boss. Yo llamé a mi jefe. And I worked on Sunday. Yo trabajé el domingo. I worked on Sunday. So these verbs are in past. Estos verbos están en pasado. Okay? Doubts, dudas, doubts or questions? Aquí solo tenemos positivo. We, ne we only have positive, right? So any question? This is the we past. Need to, we need to review the irregular verbs, the list. Exactly. But that's personal. I can push you. Yo no puedo presionarlos <laughs> porque ya tienen tareas en la plataforma. Ok, eso va a ser personal. Lo que podemos hacer es compartir algunas listas ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, ok? Para que tengan el recurso. So you have the, the list, all right? Pero sí no los puedo presionar porque ya hay tareas en la plataforma y no puedo salirme de esas tareas, ok? Al menos presionarlos para que hagan otra cosa, ok? To, to push you to do something else. Any doubt? ¿Alguna duda? 
teacher. Yes, Hector. When when I use was, were, or verb in past. Repeat the question, please. When I use the the, the was or were or the verb in past. Uh, it depends on what you want to say, right? Uh, it depends on what you want to say. So was and where, basically they mean, it depends on the pronoun. También depende del pronombre. Yo estaba o yo era. Él era o él estaba. Okay, he was. In Spanish, right? Uh, ella era o ella estaba. Okay, in Spanish. She was. Uh, luego, uh, we, we were. Nosotros éramos o nosotros estábamos. They were, ellos eran o ellos estaban. You were, ustedes eran y ustedes estaban. O you were para singular, tú eras o tú estabas. That's the meaning in Spanish. Si no es ese, es cualquier otro verbo que va a usar. Sí, Depende. No. Yeah, Héctor. A lo que me refiero es, eh, cuando yo voy a usar el was o el where, o cuando voy a usar el verbo eh, conjugado en, en pasado. O sea, o, o es independiente. Yo puedo no, usar... depende de lo que quiero decir. For example, si yo quiero decir, ah, yo estuve en clase, obviamente voy a usar el was. I was in class. Was, si yo was. quiero decir, yo compré un carro, no voy a decir, I was bought a car. No, voy a decir, oh, I bought a oh. car. Yo compré un carro. Voy a usar el bought. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. El was es para usar... Lo, para usarlo con el, el was y el where es para usarlos, son para usarlos, perdón, con el propósito de las traducciones que le di ahorita. Mm, okay, Ajá. Okay. Yo era, yo estaba. I was. Ok. Ok. Thank yeah. you. All right, no problem. Any other question? No. Ok, so if you have no questions, I have work for you. Si ustedes no tienen preguntas, tengo, aquí tengo unas cositas que deben hacer. I have some things you must do. Ok, so quickly, um, this is on page uh, number 30, página 30, page number 30. Uh, you need to, hold on a second. On page number 30, you need to organize these words to make sentences in past. Necesitamos organizar estas palabras para hacer oraciones en pasado. For example, number one, how would it be? ¿Cómo quedaría? How would it be? ¿Cómo sería? I was interested, bro. I was interested. Uh -huh. Sería, I was interested. Uh -huh. Product. Tal vez podemos ponerle in that, in the, in that product, ¿ok? Para que tenga okay. sentido. I was interested in... In that product, for example, así quedaría la una, ¿verdad? la una. That is number one. I was interested in that, in that product. No voy a decir I be, ¿verdad? Porque ya debo conjugarlo, ¿ok? Y el was y el was es el pasado de be. Continúen con las demás. Continue with the others. Mientras se están trabajando, les pasaré asistencia, ¿ok? While you are working, I will pass the attendance. Carlos. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Daniel. Present. Doris. Diana va a cuidar. El inicio de mañana. Present teacher. Elsie. Ya me, ya me cogí. Present teacher. Este, va, creo que. Solo pongo en mute a algunos que están hablando. <ríe> ok. Sí, siempre asegúrense, si no están participando, de tener el, la, te, la tecla en mute, ¿ok? Porque si hablan o le dicen a algún familiar, se escucha, lo escuchamos todos. We listen to that. Ok, please. Ok, let's continue. Elsie. Present teacher. Hazel. Present. Héctor. Present teacher. Irma. Javier. Present teacher. Johnny. Present. Mauricio. 
Present. Lucy. Present. Majo. Present teacher. Rafa. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Ulises. Present teacher. Wendy. I am here. Carla Maria. Present. Carla Raquel. Okay. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Por cierto, what time is it? Oh, it's time. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. All right. Un, un minuto más. Just one more minute. Solo regálenme un minuto. Just give me one minute. Or we try to do it together. O tratamos de hacerlo juntos. We try to do it together. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, number two. How would it be? ¿Cómo quedaría? How would it be number two? You buy the item in December. The item on December. You bought the item in December. Sería you bought. You bought. Porque el buy, el buy sería en pasado, right? So you say, no. uh, you, you bought, all right? You bought the item in December, okay? In December. Number three. She read the policies. Exactly. So you write it the same, but you pronounce it differently, okay? She read the, the policies. Ella leyó las políticas. She read the policies, all right? En presente se dice read, pero en pase dice read, all right? Number four. Four. Supervisor. Supervisor. Yeah, the supervisor. Gave me a discount. Gave me a discount, okay? Oh. Gave me a discount. El supervisor me dio un descuento. The supervisor gave me a discount. Is correct. Number five. They sent the they contract. Sent. Ajá, sería contel, uh, they sent. Yeah, they sent. The contract to my email. The contract to my email. The contract to my email. All right. Ellos enviaron el contract con mi correo. El contrato en mi correo. They sent the contract to my email. Miren el pasado de send. Sería sent. Y la última. And the last one. ¿Cómo quedaría la última? Let me show you here. Vamos. Let me show you here. So, ¿cómo quedaría la última? The last one. He was, he was disappointed. Exactly. He was disappointed. Él estaba decepcionado. He was disappointed. Okay. He was disappointed. Él estaba decepcionado. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know if you have questions or no questions. No? Si no hay preguntas, if you have no questions, let's go. No questions? No. 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 Muy bien. Entonces, eh, voy a decir eso en español. Pasen feliz fin de semana. Cuídense bastante y les veo el lunes primero Dios. Okay? Okay. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Nice Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Rafa. Let me know, ya, Rafa, ya. please. ¿Ya terminó? Sí, ya terminé los ejercicios. Ok, Pero reviso, voy reviso a, después de la clase. Voy a arreglar mi, 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 mi correo para el lunes. Va a estar todo ready, oiga. Ahí Let me know, please. Me lo haces saber. Let me know, please. Thank you, teacher. I'm sorry. No problem. I wanna... You too. Thank you. Good night. Good Thank night. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. See you the Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, after 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm kidding. All right, Javier. So this space is for you. So go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the the question is the uh, the how to use wall and uh, how do you say wall or wall light too? No okay. se el, el, yeah, yeah, el, I, know, I know what you mean. Yeah, the use uh -huh. of good and the use of would like to. What is the ah, difference? Good, 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 like. good, good, and would you like? Ah, okay. All right. So basically, uh, we use would. <clears throat> sorry, uh, we use would when we uh, want to express a future time. We use would when we want to, ex to express a future time. For example, um, I would change this car in a near future or in a future, in un futuro, in a future. I would change this car. Yo cambiaría este carro. I would change this car. So it's a future purpose, OK? Or maybe you can say, um, I would buy another car in, I would buy another car. Yo compraría otro carro. I would buy another car. So it's a future, right? Mm -hmm. But when you say, I would like to, cuando decimos, I would like to, estamos diciendo que yo quiero algo. I wish something, okay? For example, I would like to buy another car. Me gustaría comprar otro carro, so it's something I want, algo que yo quiero, something I want, a desire, mm -hmm. a deseo, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. Uh, yo quiero y el, y el would es el futuro, para futuro mejor. Sí, en realidad, ah, en realidad ambos son para un, para para expresarse en un futuro, digamos, para expresar algo en un futuro. Ajá. Con la diferencia de que el would like to es como más como un deseo, algo que yo quiero. Y el otro solo, solamente es para expresar algo en futuro. Que quiero un ah, okay. en futuro, en un futuro. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, es que no tenía, que no tenía mis, mis pequeñas duditas ahí. Bueno, porque sí, falté clase varios, varios días. Entonces tenía eso del lo que era el, el would y el would like to y este del, del may y el me. Mm. ¿Cómo? Ya, yeah, el, el might and may. Might and may. Oh, might okay. and may are to express a possibility. For example, um, what? I may do it tomorrow. Okay, I may do the homework tomorrow. Or I might do the homework tomorrow. It's a possibility, all right? Es una posibilidad que la podría hacer mañana, maybe. Okay, I may mm. or I might is for possibility. Ah, okay, solo para yeah. posibilidades. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Ah, okay. Sí, esas son las que. For example, imagine I tell you, um, um, I may call you tomorrow. Yo podría llamarte mañana, or I might call you tomorrow. That is the same. It's a possibility. I don't know if I'm gonna call you, all right? It's a possibility only. Mm, entonces podría decir, I make a. Go to the the house tomorrow. Uh, sería? I make a may or might. I oh. might. Okay. I might. I might uh, go to the house tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo podría ir a la casa mañana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Make no. Uh -huh. May and might are used the same, all right? Se usan lo mismo. They are used the same. Solo que a veces el may lo uso para preguntas. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. May I call veces... tomorrow? Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque la, la vez pasada, unos ejemplos que nos daban es como, a veces como para pedir permiso. Uh, may I go to the bar room? Uh -huh. uh, may I go to the... Exactly. It's okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. It's okay. for permission and to sound more polite. Y para sonar más educado también. To sound more polite. Mm -hmm. El may. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Como por, por formalidad, podríamos decir. Exactly. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí, entonces esa, esas son las únicas dos teachers que tenía ahí con un poquito de, de duda. Ok. Ajá. Y de ahí igual eso que... Voy a tratar de buscar en esos videos con el plus, eh, con el pass de, de OB, de, de simple pass. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero cualquier, si cosa, era... cualquier cosa estamos para apoyar, incluso aunque sea por WhatsApp, ok. Ah, va, está bien. 
Sí, a veces por pena, a veces como pasamos no, no. ocupados aquí en el día, pero no. No, no tengan pena, ¿ok? Sí. Díganme con confianza. Sí, yo como Cuando la vez pasada, dudas. por lo que le conté del niño que lo tenía enfermo, entonces sí, por eso me habían sentado varios días. Pero ya, ya estamos listos otra vez. Excelente, ya está mejor. Sí, ya, gracias a Dios, sí. Qué bueno, gracias Así a Dios. Esas serían mis dudas, teacher. Ok, excelente. Okay. Te okay. agradezco entonces. Nos no vemos problem, el lunes. Okay. Yeah, see okay. you Monday. Thank you. Okay, okay. Good, good night. night. Good night.